osteopathic manipulative treatment can be safely and easily applied in a pediatric population, including infants. In this video, we'll demonstrate a technique that may benefit the treatment of infants. It's called condylar decompression. Condylar decompression is the release of the occipital condyles at the base of the skull. In a newborn and infant, the condyle is in two parts and is surrounded by cartilage. Distortion of these parts, along with numerous muscular, ligamentous, or fascial connections, may cause compression or irritation of the hypoglossal nerve as it exits the hypoglossal canal. Other cranial nerves in this region include those that exit the jugular foramen, which is comprised of the articulation of the occiput and temporal bone. This includes cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal, 10, vagus, and 11, accessory. Irritation or compression in these cranial nerves may contribute to a myriad of symptoms, including colic, reflux, feeding dysfunction, torticollis, plagiocephaly, and constipation. Though demonstrated on the pediatric patient today, this technique may also be utilized in adults. This treatment is performed by placing the infant or newborn supine while the physician sits at the baby's head and cradles the head in the hands. Curl your fingers around the cranial cervical space so the ring fingers lie on the approximate plane of the occipital condyles. Index fingers may monitor the mastoid region of the temporal bone, and middle fingers may be used to stabilize and balance the atlas from the occiput. Use your ring fingers to induce a gentle but firm lateral and posterior spreading motion. This motion spreads the tissues away from the atlas and helps to decompress the condyles. Maintain this position until the tissues soften or the range of motion improves between the occiput and the atlas. You may note that one side will release before the other.